Hey guys, we've got some of these Q-Cell batteries in. They are 100 volt batteries, but well, obviously we know that most of our stuff is um, 50 volts. So guess what? These batteries are 14S times 2. So inside these batteries, if you look inside them, so this has got two separate batteries completely. All right, so it's got uh, 14 inputs over there, 14 cells on that side and 14 cells on that side. You can see this board is exactly, in fact, it's a mirror image of either board just cut in half. Uh, a lithium ion phosphate battery, they're about 3.2 to 3.6 volts per cell. Whereas an NMC battery, they're not temperature sensitive now as much because they use them in electric vehicles. But these go down 4.4 uh, volts is the maximum or 4 volts per cell. So if you go 14 times 4, so if you look at that, so 14 times 4, times 4, and that's 56 volts, which is perfectly within range. And that's, that's the safe voltage, but you can charge them up right up to 58 volts, exactly the same range as a lithium ion phosphate 16 cell battery. So these can run in parallel just fine with a LFP, a LFP rack mount battery, something like that, just fine, run in parallel. So with each of these batteries, and these batteries are quite a bit cheaper than the others, so if you've got a cabin or something in the woods that get, batteries get uh, below freezing, where LFP won't work, these are perfect. So here is the cable that comes with it. It's an Amphenol connector. You can see an Amphenol two-prong connector over there. And there's the serial number. But what's cool about it, you could just cut these cables in half and um, use each 50-volt battery in parallel like we're going to show you right now. So we've got to, we're going to do is cut this in half over here. Cut in half, we're just going to get a wire stripper. And what the plan is here is to have a breaker on this side and a breaker on that side. Because if you use each pair of red and black, in other words, if I plug this in over here, you'll soon see that the red on this side is the black on that side. And the red and black between these two, and I've just drawn a little picture on here. The negative on the one side is 50 volts and the positive on the other side is 50 volts. So all you got to do is, is to get 50 volts out the positive on this side, the negative on that side, and you've got to parallel it with the positive on this side and the negative on that side. And we're going to do right that. So what we're doing is we're taking the cover off just because we can. You don't need to take the cover off, but we're going to put a piece of DIN rail there, a piece of DIN rail there, or you can get a full length if you want to. We're going to stick the breaker on there, stick the other breaker on there, and that'll give us... 250 volt batteries what you'll notice on these DC breakers is there's a plus and a minus so and uh, we want to keep DC breakers are usually polarity sensitive so we want to put the plus in that side the minus in that side and uh, the same for the other breaker seeing as this BMS automatically balances the cells we don't need to do that that's already built in we don't need any BMS communications we have been trying to get this to work with Solar Assistant. We have found that the board rate is 115200 coming out the uh, RJ45 plug on the side there. And uh, and the other one over there. But we haven't managed to decipher the um, protocols just yet, and I'm sure that's coming. But it's not that important. That's the uh, Solax BMX, uh, BMS in here. So this kit will include the two breakers, the DIN rail to mount on the unit. The connectors on the back over here and two pieces of heat shrink because the wires on this side over here are the wrong polarity so this will have to be black over here so i'm going to slide this piece of heat shrink over there so there you have a 6.4 kilowatt hour battery for uh just under 1200 bucks as far as the programming of the inverter goes pretty simple we go to setting number to use to be able to set those settings uh, over here battery type on the LV6548, we're going to set the bulk voltage to 57.5, the float voltage to 57.5, and the cutoff voltage you can set at 44 volts, and the battery type you would just have to set to use. All right. And there you are. We've had this thing running for uh, a long, long, long time in the shop now with solar connected, and it's all been working beautifully. All right, thank you.